Okay guys, here we are, five guys. We've got a, uh, it's like a Dodge Dart. It's gonna be a tough one to get out of here. Uh, we're gonna go around, got some scuffs. It's really dirty. It's not supposed to be here, so we're gonna see if we can make it go away. It's your car? Yeah, we had a meeting this morning and then they take it two hours. I didn't have time to move it before we opened. I and mean, it's it's 150 for the drop fee and I can leave it. Sorry, they don't they've already called me and I've already got it hooked up, so not supposed to be here. I'm sorry. 150? Yes ma'am. I can, yep. Well, had a meeting and it took a little bit too long. This is the story I'm getting. I guess she's gonna go get the drop fee. And I'm gonna wait on her. guess they work at Dick's last resort so she definitely knows that she's not supposed to be here she's got I mean I don't understand the so for Dick's last resort I believe that the company pays for a parking garage for all their employees so just down the road there's a big parking garage and they get free parking in that parking garage but it is a little bit of a walk so I'm gonna guess she uh, either late for a meeting or something like that because she's saying there's uh, no parking, which is, I mean, there's an entire parking garage, so no excuse there. Yeah. You said, uh, Dicks. Yeah. So don't they give you guys a whole parking garage down there? They don't pay for you guys to have a parking garage down there to park in? No? Where the heck do they expect you to park then? Yeah. Wherever. Wherever? Yeah. So whose parking is this? This is Five Guys. Five Guys employee parking lot. Um... Yeah. But they have like two five guys signs over there. It doesn't say anything right here. Yeah, it's uh I mean if you're working in the area, dear, you gotta know they're gonna call. They're gonna call us every time if you're not paying if you're not paying to park or they're not designating you a spot to park at. They will I promise you they'll call us every time. They've never called before. Really? Yeah. You've all, you've always parked here? But I have parked here. I mean, the last four years I've worked here, quite a few times. Well, yeah, five guys is. Yeah, they'll call us. They've been calling us quite a bit for everybody parking, and then they don't have spots for their employees. Kind of a bad deal. Huh? Yeah, just a bad deal if their employees can't have a place to park too. It's, they'll call us when they come to work and they don't have a spot. But. Uh, I would check with your employer. I can't. I can't believe they're not. They don't have a place for you to to park when you come to work. Gotcha. All right. Have a good one. Okay, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're over off of Bluff Mountain. We got a call in from another tow company that come up and tried to assist. Called me back and said that he didn't want to risk losing the customer's car and wanted to know if I would come up and help the customer. So I'm not really sure what I'm getting into. If this was an original insurance call i'm not sure what's going on but bluff mountain is no joke oh is this no this is just a truck sitting here i don't know what the story is on that i didn't see a car up there with flashers on gosh this road feels like the takeoff to a roller coaster when you lay back in your seat and you go up and it's clicking and... Uh, i don't know what i'm supposed to do uh that car doesn't look like they're off the road i wonder where the actual car is Probably can't no, see it on camera. That's There's the one. They're trying to go up. Is there another way in here? This is the only way in. 
This is mm -hmm. the only way in. Yeah, this is the only way in. So Surely that's not them stuck. Oh, I guarantee it's them stuck. But they're on the road 100%. And they want you to take them the rest of the way to their cabin. That's no. Surely not. Guarantee it. I bet you the car's elsewhere. No. They're guarantee it. It's straight up and down. For uh -huh, sure. For sure. Yeah. What's going on, guys? We're just good thinking of the same line, but I was okay. trying to go up this hill. And okay. The car started spinning. I guess I don't know if my tires are bad, what traction, I don't know. So then I started trying to reverse, and I thought I would pull in this driveway and kind of reverse and just go down. Yeah. And when I did, I just started sliding. Okay. And I'm just kind of scared to go any further, honestly. Okay. What uh, was this uh, insurance? Was he supposed to help you with the insurance no. call? Or? I, no, I tried going through insurance. They told me they found someone that'd be three hours from it. Okay, so you're, are you staying up there? I was visiting friends. At you're, this point, I'm just you're just trying to get out of here. Yeah, I'm just trying to go now and get my car down. Okay. Leave. Okay. I think this is a rear wheel drive. I don't. Um, uh, and I guess it's 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 done. It won't be good right here. Huh? Give me a sec. Oh yeah, you're trying to go up. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can. He's gonna see if he can, what, drive it up? Oh my gosh, it's so steep. I don't want you to slide and okay. go crazy, but if right. you've been down it before, you know. But it's when it's when it's raining, it's it's bad. It's okay. not too bad right now, though. It feels kind of yeah. It kind of it tacked up a little bit. But you guys be safe, okay? Okay. All right. Thank I'll you guys. Ahead. Now we get to go down this backwards. It's so much fun. All right, guys. I don't know, man. What? I don't. I don't guess I understand what's going on. Well, we've got a towing company or a couple of towing companies. It sounds like that. Probably shouldn't be towing company. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I, I didn't even didn't I didn't even have to have a tow truck. <laughs> Could have came up here in the service van. I mean, come on. I, I don't. I don't understand that. He, th that poor guy's been here for three hours. Two towing companies. I think two towing companies. Maybe it's just the one. I don't know. So. He just wanted to get turned around and come back down. He's done. He's been there for three hours trying to get up that. Okay. And the other towing company said that they they couldn't help him. It was way too steep, and he really had himself in a really bad spot. 
and they didn't want to be liable for anything so they just couldn't help him but he it was just as simple as turn just, the traction control off and turn around and come back down you just turned him around it didn't seem like you had any trouble at all it whatsoever barely, it barely even slipped a tire poor guy so yeah guys i mean it's it's crazy it really is you've heard me preach about uh traction control if you've watched any of our videos or you follow me any at all traction control will get you in trouble if you're just trying to, to just creep and crawl and, and do these mountain roads or driveways or it's a fantastic feature you know if you're if you're doing 40 50 mile an hour down the road it really it'll no this is the is this the bad way this is the bad way. well our map is gone we're lost <laughs> It's just not a good thing, good feature to have on while you're slip sliding and trying to get up a, a driveway when it's, you know, if it rains, it's it's really bad. This black top is, is pretty slick, so. I don't know why that other tow company, I don't know. Comment down below, guys. I'd love to hear from you on this one. Like I said, I come all the way over here and I didn't even need a tow truck. I just turned traction control off, turned him around, and he's been up here for three hours and now he's on his way and it took me all of, uh, I don't know, 40 seconds <laughs> yeah it didn't take long at all but anyway guys we're off we're gonna head back down off of bluff mountain here so stick around stay tuned got more coming your way appreciate you guys watching that one up there the black one some damage here. Boy, that bumper attacked us.
So this is wrinkled. Same way over here on the other side. That's already like that. All right. We got tons of room. Tons of room. Checking to see what I gotta do to get a car right in thing. What kind of car you got? This thing, uh, Nissan Altima. Oh, you were the five guys, Parker. Well, I wasn't there. I was at the other one, but yeah, that's who called it in. Gotcha. Um, as long as you're the registered owner, ID matches the registration of the vehicle, we can release it to you. Uh, the cost is. All right, sir. Where do I go? How do I get there? Uh, the address is 221 Newman Road. All right, from here, I got no idea. Where's that at? Uh, you'd probably just have to GPS it then. I, I mean, we're, we're down 321 just a little bit. All uh, right, what was it one more time? 221 Newman Road. All right, sir. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Got left. Hey, this is Jeff, Everything Auto. I, I didn't know when you guys were coming for the car. We're getting ready to head out for lunch, and I didn't want to meet you. I didn't want to miss you. Well, I'm on in the process of walking out. Still a mile away. Still a mile away. Okay. All righty. Uh, we'll hang around then. All right. Uh, uh, thank you. I tried to get you before you left out. I'm about to leave, man. I was about to leave. I see. That's what I said. But I bet he's fixing to go alone. We was walking, so oh, yeah. just a minute. That's a long ways. Can't park there. <laughs> See, I didn't know that. I mean, we're not from here. I seen the signs against the wall and down the alley. Yeah. The guy was standing there smoking, and you could have said something. Red. Yeah. He should have said something. You know? Well, he the, looked dead in my eyes, and he should have said, hey, there's no parking there. Yeah. It was the, the loading dock and all that stuff, too. So they were, they were a little unhappy about that. But, yeah, man, you just have to... It does pay, just the paid garage there. That way they can't tow you. Just right. have to hit one of those. I'm sorry you guys had to walk. You got keys, I'll go get it for you. And you're the registered owner? Yeah. You are? Okay. Let me go grab it for you. So, the fellow that called said he told them that they couldn't park there. These are the owners and they say that he looked us dead in the eye and didn't tell us we couldn't park there. So, I don't know. Driver's license. Uh, as long as your ID will match the registration of that thing there. And it's the for the, for the park. No. That's the one we're seeing. Not no yeah, it's those are the bad the bad things. They uh but yeah downtown Gatlinburg is, is kind of bad on the parking there, so yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'll get out of your way. Sorry guys. It. She just wanted that receipt up. She goes, that's one receipt that I won't want. <laughs> Okay. 
Well, Jeff got hooked up before I could walk over here and get my coat on and everything. Raining buckets. What is this, an Acura or an Infinity? That's a good one. I don't have a light. No. Electronic parking brake is set. Can you uh, can you uh, give me some instruction on how I can uh, retrieve my car that I believe was towed from around uh, somewhere close to a candy kitchen parking lot, maybe a white acre? Uh, yes, sir. As long as you're the registered owner, ID matches the registration, we can release it back to you. Yeah. The fees associated is... So uh, where's all this take place at? Uh, 221 oh, Newman we're, we're gonna, 221 Newman Road. Is there a, a tram or something that can get me there as far as you know? I mean, there's the... They run. I don't know how close it could get you. Uh, up here, it'd still be some walking. Most mm -hmm. people get cabs and Ubers and things like that. Okay, I'll check in to that cab. Oh, 221 Newman Road. There's somebody over there flagging me now. Let's see who this is. And uh, thank you much for the info. Huh? Thank you. 221 Newman Road. Yes. What's the hours operation? 24 hours? We're normally 8 to 5 on the pickups, but if you're telling me you're coming this way, I can get somebody over at the gate. I just need kind of a 30 minute heads up that you're coming. Yeah, great. Thank you for that. Yeah, it should be there. Uh, should be there within 45 minutes. Uh, hi, Brandon. Okay. I should be there within 45 minutes. I need somebody to come to get me. Thank you much. Uh -huh, thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. He's on his way. Stick around. Stay tuned. We're about six minutes from you. And uh, every time I'm looking at this GPS, uh, I said we're six minutes from you. So stay a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Bye, bud. Bye-bye. Uh, hey, Hey, buddy, what's happening? Oh, man, trying to stay yeah, dry. Trying to stay he dry. Have a mile. Why do I start a trip? This old boy here, he's stopping at us. He's actually our maintenance man. The maintenance At guy. the condos we're staying in. He's going up there to fix and stuff. He called me. He said, man, I'm on my way. I said, good, you can stop and get us on the way to go walk. Well, that, that works out. <laughs> yeah, it worked out real good. You, for you, to you forgot to pay to park, I guess. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a lot. We didn't know where to pay. We didn't see the signs. It wasn't well lit. You know how it is. All yeah. this rain. I didn't give a crap. Yeah, we just like whatever. You got you're the registered owner. Yeah. I just need the keys. I'll bring it up here for you. Yeah, I hope you got keys. That'd be a bad thing. Keep it dry. One of them keys. Oh yeah, for sure. There's a hundred dollar bill laying in the console. Hope it's still there. Well, it, uh, it's still there if it was there. 
Oh! Well, I'll try not to. A good Louisiana snake. All right, guys, you heard that one. Well, it wasn't busy, so we didn't figure it would hurt to. Uh... What do you think about that? Well, that's kind of nice. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Very nice car. Uh, a lot better now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. You got uh, the cash and I'll get you the receipt? Oh, you need some money. I told her, I said, well, I guess he's just going to let us have it. It's something missing there, huh? You need the keys in it. Good. All righty, guys. Stay dry. Hope you have a better night. You know where you load that key at? Yeah, it's it's in there somewhere. Or it'd be beeping at us. Yeah, it's, it, I, it said it right there in that console there. We'll find it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, man. All right. Like I said, guys, it's a rainy old nasty night shake the jacket out but yeah guys there he was a little upset i guess she was a little upset he was a very nice guy she said well it's uh well they're, they're it's not busy out so it shouldn't have hurt us to park there oh and then he said he didn't see any signs there was he said there was nobody there to pay <laughs> <laughs> there was nobody in that parking lot for him to pay oh bless his heart and uh and yeah and it wasn't busy so yeah you heard it here first Stick around, stay tuned. We're gonna try and stay dry. Okay, guys. After I figure out where I'm going. Kings Ridge. So we're over in Gatlinburg, Kings Ridge. We're going to Beanstalk. Beanstalk Way, I think it was. I can only imagine that Beanstalk Way is really high up. Anyway, we've got a car, a car in the ditch. Uh, come in as a PD call. Everything auto. Hey there, this is again at the resort. Yes, ma'am. Hey, hon, I am so, so, so sorry. Um, my manager just contacted me and she said that we actually can't do it until I've heard from the gym. Okay, all right, that's um, fine. So I will definitely give y'all a call. I'm waiting to hear from her, um, but y'all are definitely who I'll be using. Okay. Um, I just got to get it cleared on with her, hon. Yes, ma'am, that's understandable. Okay, just let us know all right. If Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Okay, I guess a little explanation on that one. Uh, there was a hotel that had a car for two days, parked, shouldn't be there, don't know who it belongs to. She called us to tow it, but then she just called us back and you heard the story to that. But we are here. So this is kind of eerie with the lights reflecting in the fog. Oh my goodness, a bunch of people standing out. Oh. Well, that's not awful. Oh, they crashed. Oh, okay. There's quite a bit of damage on this car. Looks like it also become full. I believe so, yeah. Or maybe just even straight sideways. That would be preferred. But... Yeah, maybe officer come back up. Just a little muddy there. I guess I'd worry about that pole right there. Yeah. It's fair to say, surely I'll probably, I'd have to. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be good or not. It doesn't look like it is, does it? We can just pick that up out of the ground. Woo, look at that. Heck yeah. That makes life a lot easier right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Get Are you up. okay? Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Did you just miss the turn? Did you turn too soon or what? Yes, ma'am. I was trying to go in and back up and then go around. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not from here from South Carolina, so I was trying to get to your Airbnb where my friend's family is having a Christmas um, yeah. like vacation at. They're not familiar with the road, so. Yeah. It's yes,
she backed into this. I'm not sure. So it's hard to tell, but there is like a little drainage ditch here. It's rained every day for the past week. She was in there pretty good. I don't know if you can see these. That's her rear tire. And that's where her front tire is. And that it's pretty deep, full of water. And it's not a super steep slope, but it's just super muddy. I guess you got the same plan as me. Yep. Okay. Yep. Hey, you kids want some? You kids want some suckers? Look, I got some suckers. What's up, baby? <laughs> Load them up. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get these kids good and hyper for you, and then we're just gonna turn them back to you. How's that? <laughs> Come over here, for just a second. Hey, buddy. There you go. You good? There's stickers. Do you want a sticker? Okay. Oh, Three you want a sticker? Okay. Want a sticker? Want we got we got some trucks too. You guys want some trucks? Yeah. I see what you want out there, hun. I see a car. There, yeah. There's a there's a there's little cars. There's, there's some cars. Yep. Well, there's a bear. A you want a popper? I want yeah, a popper right too. Uh, you get a popper too. I'm gonna get out of the way. <laughs> you want a sticker? You want a sticker? Yeah. <laughs> You can get a car too if you want. You're loading them up. You're on the record, right? What's that? You're on the record, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so did you get my information from here? Dear, this one's uh, this one's on us. Merry Christmas. Are you sure? I'll take a handshake. You're very Are welcome. Are you sure? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can I have a hug? A little well, bit? yeah, we'll do hugs. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. I hope the kids have a good Christmas, okay? I want to see, do we have all the kids here together? I'm going to pull forward if we got all the kids right here together. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you so much, sweetie. You're welcome. You have a good night. You too. We'll make sure your car is safe before we pull out of here. Yes, sir. Make sure I don't run over a police car. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> the new to me police car. The new to you police car. Well, I mean. Yeah. Please. Uh, which direction are you going, dear? Oh, uh, that way. That way. That way. I am going. I can't really tell you which way I'm not from here. Well, let me back you down so you can Please. be behind me. Here's the keys. Thank you, dear. <laughs> All right, dear, you're headed in that right direction. Thank you so much, honey. You're welcome. There'll probably be a little, there'll, there'll probably be some mud that sling off those tires. So I just, I'd go a little slow till you get those tires cleaned okay. out. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Thank you, officers. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, the officer said that they were going to take her to her cabin. Okay. To where she was going. So that's that.
just know that you guys uh, are giving back to us so we're able to give back to and um, so that one was that one was an awesome one guys mm -hmm. and that one was because of because of our YouTube family and we got a great group of uh, people there she's low on cash she's already told me she's uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you guys she had $95 in her bank account she had three kids there uh, we're coming up on Christmas and uh, she's you know they're they're here trying to trying to salvage uh, Christmas I guess so yeah she said she was here for a Christmas party Christmas party it is so mm -hmm. Christmas parties is what they're gonna do um, by you guys giving to us we were able to get those kids some smiles got some suckers got some tow trucks we got some stuffed bears some poppers we gave those kids Handfuls. handfuls of a variety of stuff that you guys have sent to us mm -hmm. and uh, with our Christmas uh, donations from all the folks out there Roger and, and um, people that bought the hats people that have bought the hats mm -hmm. uh, everybody that has give the donations whether it be for our merch and our hats or our our comments and things like that you've helped so we we gave her we winch that thing out for free you know normally our winch outs it just depends on on how bad they are but you know we we saved her we saved her a few there and um maybe she can uh, buy those kids some extra christmas presents and uh but she was very grateful guys i mean it's just just overwhelmingly cool uh, the officers stood there with us got the road safe and uh, made sure nobody was getting run over and uh, just you know just interacting with the people it's just really cool it's really cool to be a part of it's just it's very humbling guys very humbling I feel like you know we, we wouldn't be able to do this stuff definitely without you guys and then on top of that we wouldn't be able to do it without the police department right the police department is a has allowed us to come in and help them out and uh, they keep us safe and and we try our best to help them but we get these situations like this that sometimes we wouldn't normally get so big thank you to to Gatlinburg and um, thank you to all of our our YouTube family and uh, if you guys like what we're doing make sure your your notification bells on smash that subscribe button all that good stuff we appreciate all the support in our merch you guys are buying hats and t-shirts and stickers and hoodies and uh, we've got some more stuff coming to the uh, to the merch store it'll probably be in 23 yeah we're trying to get some more orders in we've had we listen to you guys we do yes. listen uh, we've heard some long sleeves we heard some more blacks we've heard I've heard some refrigerator magnets mm -hmm. I promise I I hear this stuff guys and we're we're trying on that end of it and keep by you guys coming. yeah keep it coming we love we love the comments we love to know what you guys want whether it's in the merch store or whether it's video wise what you guys want what you guys want to see what you guys want us to do we we listen so uh, I know sometimes it might not seem like we do we're trying to get caught up with <laughs> videos and we're we're a month out and we're gonna get that stuff squared up to you guys by the first of the year that's why Kendra's doing the uh, the Christmas uh, 12 video Christmas. dump <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like I said it's just really cool I know I'm rambling but I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that everybody out there is amazing you guys that are watching are amazing absolutely you make it work you guys make it work and uh, as long as you guys are watching we will keep filming so stick around stay tuned it is it has been a miserable few days guys it's rained it has rained for like four days straight it makes the roads very dangerous and uh, we've got some floods and things like that so yeah turn around don't drown I shared some of those posts our area is very treacherous on that end of it we've got some pretty low-lying valleys and deep ditches and things like that plus the road is just downright slick when you're trying to traverse some of this stuff but anyway I know it's dark this video is probably miserable because I'm in the cab of my truck and I just finished that we try to try to do our best with that Christmas lights are in full swing hope you guys are able to come in and uh, visit the area because Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge uh, they do an amazing job with their Christmas lights uh, I know we don't get a lot of it in our videos not as much as I want to but I'm gonna try harder to get you guys some more Christmas lights videos I'm gonna quit laughing <laughs> Unless there's anything that you need to add. I can't think of anything. I think you pretty much covered it this time. Maybe I covered it. <laughs> you got it covered. Who's coming? Sanitation. Sanitation. 
Shout out to the city shout guys. Shout out to the city. Yeah, shout yeah. out to the city guys. The city guys are really awesome too. Mm -hmm. I, I heard from a police officer. He said, uh, "Listen, don't mess with the city guys, the trash guys." <laughs> he said, "If they see that we need help and we're wrestling somebody trying to arrest them, he said they will jump out of their truck and they will help." He <laughs> said, "They are not afraid to help." So. That's awesome. Shout out to our city guys. For sure. Uh, for any of our city guys that watch, I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes I don't get the wave in. I, I I see a lot of a lot of city guys waving too. So, uh, and I think some of them watch the channel. I hope they do. But uh, yeah, here's a big wave. Thank you, city Hi, guys. Hi, city guys. They work all the time. I see them 24 hours a day. They work their butt off. They do. All of the flowers and the decorations and the just the keeping the Gatlinburg clean. Clean and beautiful. Oh ah, yes. You did an amazing job. Yeah. I, we, we're just spoiled here. We're we truly are. spoiled. Yeah. I, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go back and look at some of this stuff or we'll travel around mm -hmm. and uh, take vacations. And we just can't wait to get back home because it's like you know, they just do such an amazing job with all of the, the decorations and keeping things nice and neat. And uh, so it's just really... It's amazing to be able to live here and uh, great people. We try not to take it for granted. We try not to. Yeah. Sometimes we do. Sometimes, I mean, we just get busy, guys. We work. We work nonstop. If we're not, if my eyes are not shut, then we're working. So sometimes we take advantage of, we need to take more advantage of, of our area. Do some more fun stuff. Yes. Uh, I'll try to get that because I know you guys like to see that in videos too. Some of our fun excursions. Okay, now I'm truly done rambling. <laughs> I'm on the spur. It's pitch blacker than a boot. It's slick out. And I'm about to hit the tunnel. So as I'm signing off, you guys should enjoy the tunnel on the spur. Here, enjoy it, guys.